Texas Governor Greg Abbott in Manhattan tonight to headline a big New York Republican Party event and fundraiser. All right, he's also at the center, of course, of the huge immigration debate responsible for busting thousands of migrants from the Lone Star State to the city. Fox 5's Morgan McKay live in Midtown with the latest. And Morgan, protesters were waiting for the governor tonight. Steve Natasha, a small group was gathered here outside the Hilton protesting the event. But Texas Governor Greg Abbott's presence here tonight sending a message on how Republicans plan to seize on immigration concerns this election cycle. Now, the ticket price to get into this annual GOP fundraiser was $1,250 per person. The complaining by Mayor Adams is nothing short than stunning. Texas Governor Greg Abbott seizing on the opportunity to point fingers at Mayor Eric Adams while in New York City, highlighting why he believes Republicans will be able to pick up seats in November, the migrant crisis. Abbott began busing migrants to New York City in 2022. He claims after Mayor Eric Adams began blaming him for the increase in migrant arrivals to the city. We made clear by contacting his office and said, we're not sending them to New York. So after a while, I figured, gosh, if I'm going to get the criticism, I'm going to get the credit. And thus began the busing of illegal immigrants to the sanctuary city of New York City. But Mayor Eric Adams' team pushed back on Thursday night on social media. Deputy Mayor of Communications Fabian Levy said that Abbott lied about this in 2022. Abbott's team says they have only bussed around 40,000 migrants to the city starting in the fall of 2022, while Adams' team says that the busing started in the spring and is also suing more than a dozen bus companies for their role in transporting migrants to the city. Regardless to date, more than 180,000 migrants have arrived in New York City. Adams responding to Abbott's visit to New York and said that he's welcome to stay at a migrant shelter to see what it's like. So he can see what he has created and understand how we are treating people with the dignity and respect that he should have shown as well. But the migrant crisis will almost certainly play a central role in this presidential election year. Meanwhile, outside, a small group protested Abbott's presence in New York. Allies, community members, organizations are gathered here to let Greg Abbott know that his rhetor rhetoric of hate has no place in New York City. Now, a person who was not mentioned, at least at first, at this annual GOP fundraiser, former President Donald Trump. Now, this somewhat newly elected New York State GOP chairman, Ed Cox, he waited to endorse Trump until after Nikki Haley dropped out, saying he wanted to give every candidate a chance. He did not mention Trump in his intro speech. Reporting live, I'm Morgan Mackay. Steve Natasha, back to you. All right, thanks, Morgan.